Hello guys. In this video, let us solve the financial analytics problem using the given data. So this is week four spreadsheet problem, which we are supposed to solve using some of the financial uh, formulas, uh, which will be implemented in Excel sheet. Okay. So the, here some questions are given. First question uh, is related to this question has to be addressing identifying some sort of values from the income sheet and balance sheet and we should create some ratios which will be providing some interpretation related to the problem given problem okay so the first question asked for is to calculate shareholder equity shareholder equity is directly given in the sheet and uh, uh, you can cross check in the formula you can see c78 in c78 the value of total equity is given here okay these values are directly mentioned uh, in the table that is asked for okay so in this table the shareholder equity is mentioned here however it is very important for you to define what is shareholder equity and uh, in understanding like selection of uh, a share market like if you have three or four shares uh, on what basis you will be selecting a share depending upon the shareholder equity that has to be understood so usually like when most maximum shareholder equity is with the company, most of the people don't buy it. Usually the shareholder equity should be more with more with the public. So people will have a lot of shares and the company should have many shares so that um, customers like the people who want to purchase it can believe it. Okay. So try to understand the concept of shareholder equity and uh, how we can interpret shareholder equity that has to be understood. So next one is debt to assets ratio. It's clearly mentioning that it is a ratio between debt and assets, debt divided by assets that has to be. So here C69 by C53, the values are given in uh, balance sheet. C, uh, this is uh, debt, debt is only in, in uh, liabilities, uh, long-term debt, maybe this one debt divided by total assets. Okay, so here you can cross check that one. C69 by C53. What is C69? Total liabilities. Okay, total liabilities is considered as debt and total assets as assets. Debt to asset ratio that is clearly calculated in this document. Okay, so same formula will be applied for all the things, all the years. So year by year it is given data for each year, similar kind of formula will be used. These values has to be reflected. Okay, so from debt to assets ratio, we can understand that 2019 and 2020 is a balanced debt. Whereas uh, in uh, 2011, the liabilities are more and assets are less. That's the reason why we got lesser value. So uh, maybe during this period, the company might have borrowed money from outside. For that reason, its uh, debt got increased and assets was same. So next one is time interest ratio. Uh, cross check the formula C26 plus C23 divided by C23. C23 is interest. So here times interest ratio. So for which, like what is the times of interest ratio, like what is the income you made or how much it is when compared to interest ratio that we are calculating here, okay. So when you have 71.1 as interest ratio, what this value will become uh, over a period of time that is calculated here, we can see this. Just cross check how this has to be interpreted. The value should be increasing. So only when the value is increasing, then it, it can be said that it, it got a, some better uh, performance for the company okay so make sure you describe three elements and you mention what the values are from the table okay this for the first task next one is percentage evit fail evit can fall see when when the value is increasing when this value when this time interest value is increasing how the EBIT is falling that we, we are supposed to calculate it. For that one, so if we consider VBIT as um, uh, one, one reducing one, then uh, to what extent the value will be increasing that we will be calculating here. So the formula is this value minus one divided by this value. Okay, so time interest value, time interest earned ratio minus one divided by time interest ratio that gives you the value. So when this value is increasing more, the percentage EBIT can fall will be more okay so uh, we need to consider this one so try to understand how this has to be interpreted time interest ratio how this should be interpreted please cross check properly so next one it is given like uh, a person is having earnings of 895 millions 
and his corporate tax is 35 percent and see based on the earnings he might be have he should pay certain amount of tax to the government so that will be like uh, for this value if the corporate tax is 35 percent the total uh, interest uh, total tax the percent will be the person will be paying is 313.25 million so whereas if the person is having some sort of uh, borrowing some some sort of debt and uh, if he is paying certain interest to the banks so we should remove the interest from the value that is created okay so when you remove that interest it will be saving certain amount for the company if you just cross check here the interest is calculated this okay without interest the person will be paying 313.25 to the government and when we have interest if you tax calculate tax income it will be 292.25 which will be saving 21 million dollars of money for the company so uh, to have debt is always benefit to have debt is always good for a company okay because it will be saving certain amount of money for the government see it will have money for conducting its day-to-day -day operations and uh, for working capital they will be having money and they can perform a lot of activities they can take uh, additional decisions in addition to that what have what is happening the interest we are paying that will be redu reduced from the income tax so this is good aspect okay in this way you can reinterpret that Next question is related to uh, calculating some sort of values. Uh, what happens if the person borrows additionally $3 million in a debt at 8% interest? So, person is having a particular results over here. So, in addition to that, if the person is uh, going for additional debt at uh, some higher rate of interest, how it will be impacting the organization performance that is calculated over here? Just make sure um, you implement formulas. And finally, you can see that your EBIT is falling by percentage of EBIT growth will be falling by 67%. So this is a negative impact. Okay. So this, like for, fall of EBIT growth percentage is always a negative impact. Okay. So it should be improving. EBIT means earnings before tax. Earnings before income, income tax should be good. If that value is good, uh, the, it, it clearly states that the uh, the benefit the uh, value that company is generating will be more okay so uh, ebit should be good ebit fall should be reduced should not be grown okay so based on this uh, fifth question is like uh, based on this we are supposed to interpret and we are supposed to make some sort of suggestion to the organization so from the values we can see that from above values whatever the values we have calculated or from here uh, equity percentage or debt values by cross checking all these values we can say that organization is having very good strong uh, capital structure it is having uh, equity it is having uh, debts it is generating lot of revenues everything is good when the, an organization is a progressive organization if it makes some sort of debt the organization will have capacity to repay the debt okay so uh, considering that aspect, I can say that $3 million debt will be reducing the EBIT percentage, but uh, it's a, not a good thing. So here uh, EBIT can fall by 67% based on the uh, situations that are given in D section. Okay, It can fall by 67%, which is a bad thing. But the $3 million, the $3, million, the $3 billion debt that is taken by the organization can be utilized for some operational purposes and uh, they can that project will also generate certain money and it can be helpful for the organization this is my personal opinion okay so considering the organization financial structure and the values that we are getting and the amount of debt we are taking based on these values we can say that organization is having the ability to improvise its performance okay so however it's always uh, not that good to depend completely on debt there will be different form different ways of generating money finance like you can uh, raise your equity you can uh, like you, you will be having a lot of other options also to get money not just depending on uh, loan loan itself is not a good practice because eight percent interest is huge for the organization okay so this is how we will be interpreting you just cross check these values cross check the results and make sure you change these headings like the um, description given for each element that should be a little bit improvised 
so you are supposed to improvise these things and uh, you are supposed to provide good description for each and every question and after uh, getting values you are supposed to interpret those values properly so should be, there should be some meaningful interpretation of each section at least a paragraph of uh, interpretation is expected from you okay make sure you understand all the concept uh, whatever i explained to you listen twice or thrice and uh, start working on the document okay that's it from my side team all the best take care